guys, Dorota Pańska International Neal Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do a nice Halloween set so I have uh, just uh, infill uh, those nails you have seen me doing a rebound so many times that uh, I kind of save it this part and we are going to paint some nails black and then do also some ombre as well and some kind of spider design so I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial You can, uh, if you didn't see how to do scope the extensions or um, how to do the ribanas, just check my previous videos. There is lots of them. And because we are going to take a slightly longer time today with the design, just uh, I thought I thought I'm going to skip this part. So I'm just painting a black color first. And on those black nails, we are going to do some nice spider webs. So just nice and close to the cuticle. And when I'm painting um, the nails with the color, I tend to pull the nail folds down. It's also good to take the uh, cuticle pusher and just push the cuticles before the painting as well. So this way you can get it nice closer. This nail we are going to do those ombre. So I'm just going to keep it clear for now. And by the way, I love this black. It's so nice and highly pigmented. I think that's the best one I have ever used. And the last one. So for the ombre one, we will go and mix our colors. Uh, the ombre doesn't... Um, look good with done with the gel polishes because then you can have those air bubbles in them or the nail is not as highly pigmented as you would like or you will need to do too too many layers uh, so i will show you what i'm doing as well because uh, for any kind of ombre or baby boomer looks um, i tend to use the either paint on french gel or the foil design gels and they are a paint on gel so they really highly pigment and because of it the sponge is not going to absorb the product like as much as it would um, in a case of the normal gel polish. Change. Actually cook it. <laughs> so I just grab my cuticle pusher. Push them nicely back. And then paint the next nails. So this is going to be a kind of elegant um, Halloween design. Uh, the first idea was to go maybe for more orangey colors. But I think we are going to skip it and go more into kind of me side <laughs> when it comes to the designs. Okay, this one goes empty because that's where we've got those cool spider. And the uh, pinky. When you also painting with the, oh, when you painting with the gel polish, uh, I tend to always cap the free edge really properly. That prevents uh, any lifting. So, like I suggest you do that as well. Like kind of go and up the free edge especially the places where the extension is joining the natural nail so those nails have been rebalanced how many times this is a third third, yeah. third time yes yeah, so this is a third rebalance and i can still kind of have okay shape like normally i do 
the rebalance for a long coffee needles I would do three four times depending on the shape of the natural needles and if they grow down quite a lot and I'm not able to reshape the needles then I would change uh, then I would just cut it and start again so I've got a piece of the foil and on the piece of the foil we are going to mix some kind of red color my mark she moved it here so you can guys see it as well thank you it's almost at the end actually this color so I'm just applying quite a decent amount of this color in there and a drop of the foil design gel then using the dotting tool I'm just going to mix this color so we get kind of like a brownish color actually maybe too much black so I'm just going to add a bigger drop of this red. Come on, squeeze out, please. I need just a tiny bit more. Tiny bit more. That's it. So I've got a decent amount now. And I can really mix it at well. So we kind of get those bloody color and if I would use uh, just a gel polish on its own it wouldn't be it would be too watery it wouldn't be pigmented enough so my design wouldn't look good now I'm going to take a small piece of the sponge so I've got some sponges and I'm using the makeup sponges from the Primark they actually best Then a new form. So I've got my new form. And I would remove any kind of fluffy bits and pieces from my sponge. If you do not remove that, uh, then you might end up having the um, bits of pieces of the dust or dirt uh, in your sponge. So keep, keep having those uh, wee pieces of the form all the time on the side okay and then I'm going to pick up the scoop of this color which we have just created so I'm just taking my brush and pick up the scoop of this color apply it on the nail so it's a nice kind of a blood color You can pick up also a little bit on the sponge as well, so the sponge absorbs it a little bit, but you don't want it too much because the first layer, it has to be very um, nicely blended in. So look what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going into the kind of V-shape is um, ish. So V-shape. And those first layer, I really want that to be blended in. So very lots of lots of little movements. Okay, if it's happened that you go a little bit too high, use the other side of the sponge just to clear it up. There is hardly any color on this part, and that's what I really want. Okay. Then go and pick up more. Just dab it in. So at this part of creating the ombre, I'm more concentrated on this part of the needle. And once this one is done, I can kind of work lower change so we are going to do exactly the same on this nail as well so nice v-shape she's got really short nail but as you can see it like her nails are tiny tiny uh, so that's pretty a long extensions for such as tiny nails but she kind of takes good care of them so I do a small exception because normally I wouldn't kind of let the clients wear such as long nails with so small nail beds. So I'm just clearing it. 
Okay, concentrating only on my middle part of the needle. I'm not bothered about the free edge yet too much. Change. Okay, now I'm applying my color a little bit higher and I'm going to work I actually show you guys I'm going to so we have blended this part now I'm going to concentrate on this part here okay change So I'm just gently, really tapping with the sponge. Okay, change again. And my next part. And this is the last one. So at this stage, I want to kind of keep kind of more product on my nail just so the end has some color through it okay change and the same on this one Perfect change. Now I'm going to push back the cuticles again, just because by this time they have moved a little bit. And just apply, I mean, actually they look pretty good even in a one layer. I like my two layers application. So I'm just going to apply the second layer of the black. nice and close I tend to hold quite a lot of uh, breath when I'm doing the news <laughs> you could also take a small brush and just paint it uh, with a small brush just relax it perfect I'm always scared I might touch the nail when painting. I think you have to... no, you didn't. I guess I'm scared I touch them together. <laughs> No, you're doing really well. Okay, and the farm. So I did want it to kind of use this Halloween colors change. I did want it to kind of use this Halloween color on um, those needles, but at the same time, not be too, I don't know, too childish. I don't know how to say it. Like tacky. Tacky. Yeah. See, Brittany, you find mm -hmm. the right word. <laughs> now, actually, the guys, my gloves are black, and the gel polish is black, and I'm keep checking how it looks in the camera. Uh, so I'll be trying to. No, you can't see it much. Oh gosh. Actually, white background would be much better for you painting black nails. And the last one, Pinky. 
no not the last one thumb we have to still do the thumb Actually, the last set we was doing on Britannia, that was the Barbie, the cute Barbie ones. <laughs> and now we're going for such a change, isn't it? <laughs> but she always comes up kind of like nice ideas for her nails as well. So then I just add my twist into it. <laughs> change. I actually go one more time just on the end. Change. Perfect. I'm hundred percent happy now. Change. So on this nails, we are going to go to spider webs, and I'm going to top coat them first. So just apply the top coat. Apply the top coat. I cannot apply the top coat yet on the middle finger just because we have touched it up one more time and I wanted it to cure. And the reason I would top coat it is in case if I do something wrong with the spider, I don't have to start again. I can just wipe off the spider. Change. And I'm using the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. Actually, the UV blocker one. What will be your next set then? Oh, I have no idea. No idea <laughs> yet. Didn't think about it yet. It takes me hours scrolling on Instagram. <laughs> it will be October, uh, November one. So too soon. No, still October. Too soon for the Christmas, I think. Change. Okay, now I can top coat this one. And I need to check that I top coated this one. I think I didn't because I wanted to quickly do the ring finger and the index finger because that's the ones I need ready first for the stamping change and then this one okay so that's all the new stop coated now and we can move on into our next part of the design perfect change <clears throat> okay so a uh, watcher pump so I've got some nice spider webs uh, stamping plate and that's what we are going to do on the ring finger and the index finger. I think that's what looks super cool. So after the top cut application, I just scratch the surface of the nail plate, and uh, not nail plate, fill the nail, fill on a nail extension, just so the stamping stamping sticks in really nice and well. Clean that. And we are going to do the design. I think the spider web is so cool, it's so fine and delicate, like... I took too long now. So I've got nice spider web. 
Then I'm just going to apply it on the entire nail. Just do exactly the same on the index finger. Actually, my scraper is pretty rubbish. <laughs> so I'm using the Born Pretty um, stamping polishes and I find them pretty cool and working really well. Okay, after this part is done, I'm just going to apply the top coat. And on the black uh, background, it stands out so much. And then we have to do the super cool spider change. So just exactly the same. I'm going to grab those two needles. They super smooth actually already. <laughs> Uh, do you do that? Um, see, each time when I get my nails done, when I go home, I go like this. Mm -hmm. And I keep massaging them and touching. And Oh my goodness, this is so bad. But they feel so nice after they're freshly done. I love it always. Now, just in case if there is not someone of you who doesn't know how to stamp and is watching this tutorial first time, I might actually maybe maybe move this a little bit. Okay, okay, so I've got my stamping plate in here and what I would do is I would take a tiny bit of the stamping polish, apply just on the one side and then with the scraper I have to go and quickly clean it kind of up so the polish gets stuck in those wee holes and then I can transfer it with the stamper don't go and press too hard you kind of want to roll it to pick it up your design and it's a matter of the practice like you have to do it quite a quite a few times and then once you get get hang of it it's it becomes much easier but it took me quite a long time um, before I managed to kind of pick up nice designs so it's not as easy as it looks and then the design is just on the stamper I might actually use it for one and for the second one. So that's a big time saver. Yeah. Okay, I can put my stamping on the side. I don't need it anymore. And move that back in. Apply the top coat. And now the exciting part, we are going to move into doing the spider. I actually really like the fact that the web is so nice and fine. I'm just checking uh, how the light reflect on my top coat. Perfect. Change. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to clean Just going to clean that up. And let's do the spider. So I'm going to buff this nail again. Uh, maybe the thumb more in. And for the spider, we are going to freehand it for a change. So I'm going to use a tiny bit piece of the foil. And the foil design gel. So just a tiny bit of it on the side in here. And you really want to start painting the body first of the of the spider. Okay, so I've got my deliner brush in here. 
and now we are going to paint the spider so the spider is going to have a tiny wee head this head will be glittery but i need it kind of so i know so i know where i'm going and the spider is going to have the mouth or how you say it the thing which he bites with <laughs> Little okay, then we are going to have a nice large size body in here. And I'm not bothered too much how I paint the body because it's going to be filled up as well with shiny bits and pieces. But I need to have the indication kind of where where to place my legs. Okay, so this is a part of the body. And now we can start painting the legs. So the first legs are coming out quite high up. And you do straight line. And another straight line. And another one. Okay, the next legs are going to be just kind of in the middle and going similar shape. So just line. And we also want some legs which are kind of twisted. And they are going to go on the back of the body. So just the smaller ones. And another piece of the legs, which is going to be a huge one. Okay, change. Exactly the same on this one. So just push the foil on the side so we don't put too much dust in there. And now let's paint the spider. So a tiny head. With the mouth. the body, the legs which are going up on the front, so if you want to paint the fine fine lines you have to kind of train your brush and um, to be able to, to get those fine lines And some shorter ones. And the large ones. And I 
Perfect change. And now we've got two options. So the one option is we could take a gems and we could do the rest of the spider with the gems. So I could apply like a huge gem in there. Uh, or we could build up it with the liquid stones. And I'm actually not sure which one I prefer now. But that's actually looks super cool, isn't it? Okay, we are going to do it with this one then. So to secure such a big gem, I'm going to use the base gel. So quite a decent amount of the base gel. Now you will need to help me and keep your uh, your nail very um, straight when it goes to the lamp, please. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> <clears throat> And I'm just going to do it exactly the same on this one. So I'm placing decent amount of the base gel. Perfect change. Keep it nice and straight. Because <laughs> if those big gems would move, it just wouldn't look uh, nice. And then the next step is I need to put some Jeez. smaller crystals for the head. So I'm just going to search for something which will look super cool as a head. And that's a little bit, I've got one, I can see it. there is nice gold one, but I've got only one, so I would struggle for the next one, but let me check in here. Yeah, that's, that's it, I've got nice one. So this is what we are going to use for a spider head. Just those gold studs. And to secure them, I'm just going to do exactly the same step like we did with the large gem. Okay, and then we've got those black uh, thing which bites sticking out from it. <laughs> black thing which sticks out <laughs> how you say it again for it i think they're called pincers pincers with a p like pincers, pincers. oh yeah that's like kind of makes sense pincers <laughs> perfect change <laughs> now just because this is a really extremely large gem I'm going to take a base and just go around these crystals as well. Like I want to really make sure it is secure. Change. Normally I would put a smaller crystals around, like if I'm placing really large crystals, I would place lots of smaller crystals around it. And this way everything stays on nice, but um, because we are not placing smaller crystals, that would be the best way to secure it. Change. And our last really step on those um, Halloween set is to apply the top coat around the entire design to cover our spider. So I'm just going with the top coat 
around it. Yeah, and give it a final cure. Do exactly the same on this one. Uh, but as I say, you could easily do it with, with the liquid stones. I'm not sure if you have ever seen me. There is a tutorial, just search Dorota Palitska liquid stones. Because uh, that's, if you don't have like a large crystals, and this is actually a, with no risk of coming off as well, where you would encapsulate and build it up from the glitter and the gel. And it looks super cool as well. Um, those kind of type of um, liquid stones, like they, they really amazing. So that's how the lights are reflecting so much on the spider, so it's pretty hard to uh, see it. Um, but let me just take it out from the lamp, clean it, and then I can take a nice thumbnail. So I hope you have kind of really enjoyed watching this uh, change here, yeah? uh, this tutorial, and you have learned something new out of it. So let me show you the school spider <laughs> just apply the cuticle oil and that's this set finished actually on the white background it looks much better yeah i should actually recording maybe on this you would guys see better as well <laughs> uh, i just grab the wipe touching up Yeah, those final bits and pieces are always really important. I actually don't like this part as well. There we are. And yeah, ta-da! So I'm just applying the cuticle oil. And that's the finish it said. So I hope guys you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, glittery hugs and bye for now.